Hey, it's your boy Chango coming at you with another video. This video is Theo Vaughn and Andrew Santino Hilarious Moments Part 3. I was sleeping on this for a while. Uh, I did the first one, I started sleeping on it for a while, then I did part two uh, recently. And I had a great time. I thought it was funny. I didn't get the views I wanted, but that's not what I'm all about, right? I uh, I enjoyed it, so I figured let's do another one. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into it. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Airplane peanuts. Dude, I remember being in school and uh, it was statistics or something, and it was like it was, it was freshman year in college, and the teachers like statistically speaking, it was 1,400 kids in the class. It was like two of you guys will die in car accidents one of you guys will be a registered sex offender she was right wasn't she no I remember standing up and going not it that's <laughs> 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 not it yeah. that's good though get the fuck out oh, not me <laughs> not yeah. me uh -uh. I don't think you would go on Ellen I don't know I, I just imagine don't... if she asked you to dance would you go out there dancing all the way down the aisle no Theo Vaughn, boom, dun, 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 dun. Oh. and that DJ, and the, the DJ is like, "What's up, Theo?" And you have to do that thing. You're like, "What up, dog?" Yeah, you gotta do that. Whole hey, thing. Stanley. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, diverse person. I can just even imagine. Yeah. I don't even need to know who the DJ is. I'm just like, "Hey, diverse person." Yeah. He's like, "What up? What up?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. But would you go on there? You would <laughs> on Ellen? Yeah. No, dude. I used to leave City Grill in Tucson, Arizona. Dude, I get in the car, bro. I'd put in Abbey Road. I had a cassette tape, dude. Yeah, I had a cassette tape, bro, and I'd put that in, and somebody oh, stole my passenger seat out of my car, dude. And I didn't give a Jacked fuck. Jacked the whole bro. seat. Yeah, you had and a race I, car at that point then. Yeah, it was just like if you got in the front, you had to sit in the back. You know, it was like that. <laughs> and I would just put that in, and uh, one song and a cigarette. I could time it where it would last me until exactly I pulled into my mom's driveway. Damn, pretty good. Didn't that feel good? God, it felt good, man. What was your cigarette of choice? Mm, usually a Winston or a Doral. A Winston? What are you, my father? That's insane. <laughs> That's what my dad smoked. I mean, Winston's hey. and his brother smoked unfiltered Paul Malls. Ooh, ooh. That's a that's a veteran of war. Oh yeah. Like you have it's almost like you have to go to Nam to smoke Paul Mall. They check you at the store. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Did you go to Nam? He's like, Yeah, like, okay, yeah, you can have yeah. the unfiltered. But my uncle used to smoke non filtered. They show Paul you a Malls. picture of like a uh, Vietnamese guy if you cringe a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. yeah, you're good. Just yegging. Just yegging. <laughs> <laughs> What are your last two words if you're going to crash? Like it's <laughs> barreling down towards the ground and the pilot's like, this is it. This is it. We can't. We're going to fucking crash. Two words. That's all you have. What do you say? Fuck, man. <laughs> 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 you, say you ate a lot of meal out of the fuck. That's good. Fuck, man. That's, That's really good. But I would my, wor my words would be knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> just to get what with it. Just to fuck with everyone's head on the plane. <laughs> Right, it is, and I would go, knew it, <laughs> just to fuck with everyone's. Face. Why do you tell us? I love that idea. No, but you know what? It, you know what I think about all the time. Huh. And I was with my fucking wife on this flight, but it was getting so bumpy. There was a really attractive girl sitting across the aisle, mm -hmm. and I thought I think I would kiss my wife first, but then I would also go kiss that hot girl because <laughs> I just I thought about that. I thought if we die. I'm gonna get one on my wife, yeah. and I gotta get one on this strange hot yeah, looking yeah, woman. Yeah. She's, she's, it's just, that'll be it. I'll never have this again, dude. I would, I think, probably stand up in front of everybody, maybe stand on my seat and just open my ass up to everybody that's back <laughs> behind me. He's a Jewish diamond, Dallas Page, really. He's Jewish, huh? Is he Jewish? Howard Stern? Oh God, I'm not listening anymore. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's Imagine Jewish. 25 years. Of oh no! Yeah. No! His dad wore brown onesies all the time. And uh, those Dickies onesies, full body. I remember them, yeah. You yeah. Know? Where are they now? Why can't we have those now? I mean, now, It's so comfortable, man. Now it's considered cultural appropriation. You wear a brown onesie, dog? You're, done, you're going bro. to fucking You're going jail. to prison. You're going to prison, not yeah, jail. Dude. Lock you up for life. You're doing yeah, hard you're time. Doing time. Dude, the cops will beat you just for fucking putting one on. <laughs> I don't like chatty people. Yeah. I don't like to sit. When someone wants to engage with me, like airplanes or anywhere where you're stuck with somebody. Yeah. So I, I don't oh, want to chat. Dude. I don't want to chat with you, man. I'm not a chatty guy. One lady, I remember one time I had pretty bad body gas on a um, flight, right? You, you were, were you letting it out? Body stop? gas? Well, there was nothing I could do. It was almost like something that just, I don't know, like a ghost was in me and didn't want to come out all at once. And 
there was a lady next to me, and I kept blaming it on, on a baby, you know, because I had a baby nearby. It's fucking baby. Oh, Fart man. Who is this, this guy? Yeah, what the yeah, and it's a girl, too. First, I thought it was a boy, then it was a girl baby. It's like felt so bad, you know? There is something fucked up about blaming it on a girl baby. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, yeah, that's mean. But then at one point, the lady was really buying into that it was this baby creating this scent. So you know? she kept looking at the baby. Yeah, and the, the lady was getting so pissed. The lady next to me getting so pissed at this fucking baby. And then one time, brother, was one. She goes, "Ooh, that one was warm." <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and I was like, "God, I gotta get." Some- I don't know. I don't really get bothered if someone starts uh, chit chatting with me on the plane, um, especially if all my shit died. Right, <laughs> you're on the plane. All your electronics are dead. What other option? I mean, you can fall asleep. I guess take a nap. But if you're not tired, I mean. Yeah, I guess talk to the person next to you. I, I don't really mind it. I mean, comment down below if you guys are that type where you would chit chat and stuff, right? Um, But generally speaking, that's not... It wouldn't happen because mo- I'm usually pretty good about charging my shit, right? Um, but... I don't talk to people, be- not because I wouldn't, it's because I usually have my shit charged, right? I'm usually pretty good, so. Um, but yeah, that's not, now if you, if you, if one of you fucks happen to sit next to me and strike up a conversation, like, hey, Chango, blah, blah, blah. You better believe your boy Chango has got you, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on. Help for myself. Sometimes when I have to fart on airplanes, <laughs> I'll get up and on the way to the bathroom, I'll fart through the oh. aisle. <laughs> oh my! That's God, one of my, one of my favorite things to do. I don't like any of those people on the plane anyway. I, I, I don't Damn. like any of those humans. I feel like every time you get on any airplane, they they, they got, call that going to Jersey if you fart down the middle of the aisle. <laughs> <on a plane. laughs> that's they call that like. going to Jersey. That's the turnpike. I take yeah, I take yeah. the turnpike all the way to the bathroom. I like to fart, go in the bathroom, wash my hands, and then wait about a minute. And then when I come out, you know, people in the aisles are doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I walk by and I go, ugh. And they, th- <laughs> <laughs> then they, then they think I think it's them. And they, they, and they go like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand why some of the podcast people do not make a wrestling script. This is I know wrestlers. we talked about this. I don't have any wrestling in my blood though. I, Who cares? Yeah, but dude. I don't. I don't even enjoy it. It's not for me. Then you can still do it. Have you seen wrestling, dude? I know, but there's something about wrestling characters. I don't like tight. You ever been angry at a costume party? Yeah. That's wrestling, bro. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, no, I have. I got no fight with a guy at a costume party. That's time. wrestling, dude. It's just the Halloween. Yeah, but we really fought. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Oh, that's a good We point. really fought. That's a, then that's not Yeah, we really got man. no fist fight. But with the mask thing, it's kind of like, well, I think I have the one that works, but I don't know. Yeah, some people have on the carpentry one. People mm-hmm. have the asbestos one. The do- the real doctor one, the N ninety yeah. five. That's like the real thing. But then you got I people see- getting pulled into surgery. They don't that work at a SPC. That work <laughs> just at walking a, past that work at a humane society. Sir, yeah. we need you now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm going to work. I'm going to known as empanadas. Yeah, I'm here for drywall. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, that guy's in there spackling somebody's kidneys shut. <laughs> You look so religious. Do people tell you? <laughs> I, I, I look. Uh, you you know look what? very Catholic. Helpful, people would say. So Catholic, like like church people, look like you could ask them for favors yeah. or ask them for directions. And you have that youth pastor beard going. Mm-hmm. Too. People always can come. Yeah, people come up to me and they go, "Tell tell me what the day is going to bring." Yeah. More people ask me for directions than you can ever imagine. Really? And I always, 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 always lie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever given a real direction in my life. I think when people say, hey, how do you get to Hollywood and Highland? Yeah. I was like, go down La Brea as far as you can go. <laughs> Dude. I lie every time people ask me for directions. Dude, one, one thing I realized. I've never given a real direction. I think that's my favorite thing to do in L.A. For now, we'll keep doing King of the Sing. It's just when I come back, we'll do, you know, we'll record two episodes. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. He's a snake charmer now, that guy. I mean. Is he sponsored by bicycles? It's a, it's like, the, I can't not see a bike post. By, and Segura's now into bikes. Now it's like a crossover thing. It's you don't all, you don't bike, do you? Well, it's just one thing to the next. Oh, I'm gonna sell you coffee. I'm gonna sell you neckwear. Right. You know. I'm gonna sell you. Uh, He's like a traveling salesman. Yeah, CBD oil, dude. <laughs> remember, I remember when Brendan told me that he, him and his buddies found a CBD mine somewhere, and I was yeah. like, what? Underground CBD what? oil, bro. It's plentiful. It's just pouring out. It's Estonia. Oh, like, look, bro. 
that's not the angle you want to take if you're going to try to sell this thing, okay? <laughs> he's unbelievable, though. He can sell ice to Eskimos. He's, he's so good at finding stuff. You know how many people buy thick boy gear? It's an, it's insane. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a, so many. My dad has a thick guy, thick boy shirt. My dad's like, we're starting to bike. We just want to get out and just just we want to be thick boys, <laughs> trying to find snakes in Chicago. You always do this to Jeff. You do this to me too. Yeah. You, 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 he almost says the same thing to me every time I come on. You say that's somebody's stepson. Yeah. Which is so funny. You know why? Because that's true. Yeah. I am a redheaded really? stepchild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, I got man. a stepdad. You just have that step. You have that stepson anger in you. Well, stepsons that, are it's, always it's fucking redhead. violent. It's a redhead. That's thing. true. And all, r- redheads all redheads are stepsons? All redheads are stepkids. Wow. Have to be. Because the original father was never going to stick around. Yeah. Once they see the red hair, the original <laughs> father. <died. laughs> Mine got into drugs and left. They're like, what is this? Is something out of the garden? <laughs> I'm out of here. Put it back. Put it back. The guy around the corner, the liquor store guy. I forgot it one time, and he was like, "It's okay, I don't care. Come in, doesn't matter." Yeah. And I, I did one of these. He's things. back there making a bomb. He he's doesn't like, give a we shit. Got, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm not. He's like, Nobody's... I'm to blow up this whole block in 45 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> he wants you to give a shit. It's really hard to think nothing exists. It's really strange. Yeah. Once you've touched enough, it'd be strange to go to that many places and eat different people's foods and listen to their language, their culture, their problems, their happiness, their sadness, and then still go, "No, this is all an accident." Yeah. I just, it seems strange. You have every right to feel that way if that's how you fucking feel. I think it just seems a little lost. Now, if you grew up in this very tiny little bubble and you never left your bubble and that's all you knew and saw, yeah, maybe it's more feasible to me. But we, when we travel for a living, even traveling here just in the U.S., yeah, you go enough places, you go, wow, it's a different, it's a different world just a state away. People feel and think and view differently in just one, one little state away. Just go to fucking Arizona. Different state. Nevada. Different state. Colorado. Diff, very different. I mean, that, that to me starts to, you start to see different lines of people's lives. And to me, it, it makes me go, well, something's got to be. I don't know what it is. I'm not smart enough, but I know it's oh, a thing. Oh, no. And we may know one day, um, or Joe Rogan might tell us. Rogan does know. But and it's annoying. Point, he keeps it in that fucking God, pod God, thing God, he sleeps God, in, God. that water thing. That's where the, he gets the, the drippings of knowledge come from there, too. You're storing thoughts. <laughs> oh, dude, I saw him one time eating things out of eating facts out of a glowing bag one time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because I've heard this and I've never seen it before. Totally, man. It's in his glove. It's endless. You know, he says he loves to play pool. It's not. The crack of the balls gives him the secrets. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I've heard it a few times. And I, it's I was like, like what is Zeus that? with the planets. That's exactly right. When yeah. they smash, <laughs> then he gets all this knowledge. It's really insane. I'm like, is this, do I use this one to break? He's like... You know, those are stoner thoughts, but I think he's on to something, right? So I'm telling you right now, if you don't if you get a chance to travel, go ahead and do it. It'll just you know, the more people you meet, the more things you experience, like you look at shit differently. And you know, I know people say just for the sake of making things easy, right? Say you have a $5,000 budget. Some people, monthly budget. Some people will have a $4,000 mortgage and then that extra thousand dollars, they're fucking living paycheck to paycheck, right? They're struggling. They have a nice house, but they can't afford to go anywhere, right? They just stay at home in their nice big house and they don't get to do much, right? And then you have other people on a $5,000 budget and maybe their mortgage is like 500 or something, right? And they get to travel and do things and enjoy things. I mean, you do you, right? But I'm more like the second option, right? I My expenses are low, which means I get to do a lot of stuff. And that's just, I enjoy it. I get to see shit, right? Um, the more experiences you have, the more things you get to do. Do I have the nicest house? Absolutely. The fuck not. I mean, look at me. I'm in a fucking dungeon, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, like Andrew was saying, like traveling, even from state to state, you get to see shit, right? You get to see how different people live. Um, you know, changes in weather, changes in scenery, changes in fucking nature right 
You go to a mountain area, you go to a desert area, you go to a fucking hot, cold. Anyways, let's carry on. Oh, that's Neptune. <laughs> that goes back in the formation. <laughs> they put out so many false statistics to us when we were kids, I feel like. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're in this similar oh, yeah. age range. They say you look blind if you jerk off in the end of the moon, yeah. you go blind. Cross your eyes too long, you go blind. I remember, yeah. I remember the worst one was, this is something I've talked about before. Everybody, this is what this was in school in sex ed class. Everybody is going to get herpes. I yeah. remember them saying that they were like one out of four, one out of four. Yeah, let me tell you, I know four people, and I don't think they have herpes. I don't know why they think everyone is going. They used to tell you, you were going to get HIV. Yeah, oh, they everybody you had you HIV. Gonna, you were going to get that? AIDS. Yeah, you were going to get AIDS, dude. They tried to stop football at our school because of HIV. They said there was some kid have it in, yeah. in case of blood. Yeah, that's cr that is crazy shit. You would have to. I had a conversation about this too. Someone was like, well, you know, it's easier to get than you think. I was like, no, bro. It's yeah. harder to get than you fucking think. Dude, you <laughs> have to really, you have to, yeah. You have to beat yourself up and then fuck somebody when you've definitely been on, just gotten out of a fire almost. Right. And then you might not get AIDS. Yeah. Here's the best way that I look at it. Magic Johnson's wife doesn't have AIDS. Yeah. How? And he's the all-time leader in assists. You think he didn't get... <laughs> you think he didn't try to fucking push it over <laughs> to her on, on the way man. to the hole? I don't get that. Come shit. on. Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. If it's about Brendan, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's the answer. <laughs> this are always this, like, dude, Brendan. I'm no, like, no, no. I don't want to know about. Brendan. I don't know. You know, I don't want to know. About you know, I, I, what, do, I, I don't, what, what I don't. am I going to ask you? What his shoe size is? I, I know. What do I need to know about the guy? No, I don't know. Eric Griffin. I was talking the other day. He's like, I'm not going to do shit that I don't want to do. I'm not going to be nice to people that aren't nice to me. I'm not. I'm not going to do things that don't make me feel right, good, and healthy and happy. Yeah. Because he said I was doing things for other people that didn't respect me and didn't like me, didn't appreciate me. Mm -hmm. And he said I'm no longer going to do that. A beautiful man, bro. Yeah. For his size and his height. Yeah. And his body style, man. He has a very rare body style. It is. It's. A, you it's, know. It's, he looks like he could play power forward underwater. That's what he has. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Fuck. His Brendan's son. I Who think. had the idea? And Dave, for you guys to have a bath scene, and you wash his back. There's a scene in the Dave show where I get in a tub with him, and we're naked, and mm -hmm. I wash his back. Were y'all really naked in the shoot? Yeah, and you know what? That wasn't supposed to be on camera. That was a, that was a moment of Dave and I kind of having a bonding, and they put it on the show, and I and I don't know if I appreciated that. I think they oh, wow. went they kind of went above and beyond. Um, artistic integrity there because we said we're kind of working the characters we're trying to figure out what we need from each other in the scene so I was it was a long day it was the end of the day I said I'm gonna take a bath in this house that we were shooting and he said I'd love to take a bath as well there was only one bath I said we'll share a bath mm -hmm. but I want a closed set and they put cameras in there damn it's a little disturbing but that's what the business does yeah they're oh. invasive Nothing like putting two men together and getting them naked. Yeah. In this town. In this, in this town, that's that's really what happened. You know, and they, and they filmed it, and it was my choice, and I don't enjoy that they filmed it and put it out there. Dude, I'll tell you a story that happened to me. I remember, I just remember this. When I first got into town, some man set me up with a guy who was an agent, right? Mm, some oh, agent guy. I know he's what like, this is. He's like, I'll take you to this party or something. So he takes me to a party. Cuba Gooding Jr. is there. So I'm all excited. He's always there. Yeah. Then the guy's going to give me a ride, drop me back off my place. I didn't even have a car yet, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember the guy saying, if you grab my dick while I drive, my car will go faster. Did it? Uh, I didn't touch him. Oh. But I remember just... You didn't want to see if it could go fast? But we'd been doing a little bit of coke, you know? And right. I remember thinking... Uh, First, I was like, that's insane. I don't, you know, that sounds, you know, it sounds fake. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if there's a correlation but between his penis and the I penis. didn't even realize that the guy was trying to be perverted or homoerotic or anything. I didn't realize any of that. I just thought, oh, this guy. This guy's a big car. He's a gearhead. This guy's a real gearhead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But this dude, he said it twice, cars. and then I remember, I remember just having to stand up for myself, you know. Yeah, at some point. And I love women, dude. I got I still had a picture of my girlfriend in my wallet. Showed him, you know. Look at Shannon. Oh, but yeah. He didn't want to see Shannon, huh? He didn't, you know. It killed him, bro. Yeah, he's like, you sure that's not Sean? Yeah, that's not a Sean. But I, I forgot about that, man. I it's got, just that I, it's that kind of town where they want you to be in a bathtub with a man. You got brand new shoes on, by the way. You got some clean Adidas. Yeah, these are in honor of my buddy Billy Conforto, who's a friend of mine that passed away. Oh, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, his birthday just passed, and so I'll, every year I'll get myself a pair of these around his birthday and wear them for you know a couple months, kind of. How did he die? He uh, drove into a 
like an embankment, kind of like a cement structure, you know? Good God. Was he, he drunk? Was high. Was he, oh, he was high? <laughs> well, he was semi-high. He was on, let me see, he was on pills. I think he was on like uppers and downers. Somewhere and in between. It, yeah. Fuck that. And he just, he had a long run, man. He'd been running from, just running from all of it forever, dude. He was the first person that taught me how to throw a Frisbee. He was <coughs> there when when Princess Diana died. He told me who Princess Diana was. And uh, he was probably one of the top, you know, I don't want to say, he was one of the top probably homosexual prize fighters, boxers in America. When do you think you die, man? When do I think I die? Yeah. Honestly. I think I live longer than I'm, than I'm supposed to. Wow, I just had a vision that you don't. <laughs> and I'm not even joking, bro. I don't mean that in a bad way. I love you and everything, but I just... When am I going to go? 37. Bro, that's in like a year and a half. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. This video is like three years old. <laughs> All right. All right, so before anything else, I wanted to apologize. Your boy Chango hasn't been posting as often. I had a lo fucking rough week last week. Your boy Chango had a uh, stay at the hospital. It was uh, it was kind of a false alarm kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I had a rough week. But your boy Chango is back, right? So go ahead and comment down below some suggestions. I'm ready to go. With that being said, I like this video. Um, you know, Santino and fucking Theo. I mean, Theo is such a weird dude, right? Like, he's talking about someone that was close to him that passed away. And he talked about Princess Diana. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything, right? Like, like I, sometimes he'll... It seems to me like he he tries to go deep, right? And he'll be like, yeah, you know, this and this and this. But then he comes off and like he'll say some goofy shit like that, right? Like that's a weird thing to say to somebody, right? Like, I mean, nothing, R.I.P. Princess Diana, right? Like nothing against her, but like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude says some goofy shit. I don't know what his deal is, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. And then he's talking about uppers and downers. I mean, yeah, I could see how he'd be fucked up from that, right? I, uh, you know, I've done it to where, like, in the past, like a while back, um, you know, I would take some edibles and start falling asleep, right? And so then what I started doing was I would take out a bowl and then I would drink some coffee, right? I mean, that's kind of like an upper and downer, right? But I can't be the only one that's done that shit, right? Like, that's not dangerous. At least I hope not, right? <laughs> I'm still here. Um, but uh, <clears throat> when you're taking pills, that can't be good, right? Like, that's got to be rough. Um, but... Uh, Back to the whole traveling thing. I think he was on to something. And, uh, you know, I, I, that's that's your boy Chango, right? Like, I keep my expenses low, so I'm able to do things. I don't, like I said, I don't have the nicest house. But I don't live in the hood either. I don't have, like, shit works, right? Like, <laughs> I have a nice, I have a decent house. It's not the biggest. I mean, I got maybe... 1,500 square feet, if that, if I'm lucky. I mean, it is what it is. Maybe one day I'll do like a Cribs tour, right? <laughs> I mean, eventually I'd like to move out of this place, but if it means that I have to live paycheck to paycheck to have a nicer house, who the fuck am I trying to impress? I mean, I'll have people over and have a little cookout or something, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I, like, if I'm stuck at home because I can't afford to do anything else, fuck all that. I know people with, like, nice, like, like in that scenario, right? You have a $5,000 budget, their mortgage, their mortgage is maybe three grand, and then their car payment's like 1500 or some shit. Fuck that. I knew a guy with a brand new, uh, 
white pickup truck. I think it was a Silverado or something. And that dude, I could tell he was struggling with that shit. I don't know what his, car, his truck payment was, but... <clears throat> And it's like, for what? We were co-workers. We were in sales. What the fuck you need a pickup truck for? Like, I get it, maybe you need it for work, but who, like, why? Why are you, I don't know. I mean, I guess it made him happy, but did it? It's only for him to decide, right? But for those of you younger, right? You're trying to like figure shit out. I'm telling you right now, buying a big giant house isn't the answer. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. If you have no interest in traveling, I mean, that's on you, right? Everybody's different. But for your boy Chango, I, I don't know about all that, right? Anyways, I'm just rambling right now. It's all I got. You guys take care. Peace out.